hi and welcome back to my channel in this video you have my tax return book haul for lack of a better way to describe it unlike last year in which i got way too many books i did limit myself this year so all of my tax return did not necessarily go towards books and i was very strategic in the books that i got uh, about half of the books that I purchased are actually books that I have already read, so they are not adding to my own TBR. Those are books that I read, a lot of them as ARCs or other versions, and decided that I wanted to own them, so I put them on a wish list. And the others are nonfiction books that I've had on my TBR for a while, and I wanted to get a hold of, and most of those books I got through thrift books, so I got a lot cheaper. So let's go through the books that I got that I already owned. I did accidentally repurchase one because I thought that I didn't have the first book in the Sir Boating series. And so I got this, but I already have it. So this is definitely one that's going to go to my classroom library. Next, we have The Ghost of Rancho Espanto. This is by Adriana Cuervas. And I read this and then additionally read another book for last year's SCASL written by Adriana Cuervas. And that one was focused on a historical uh, Cuban story. This one was really, really well done. Then we have one that I read fairly recently, and that is uh, Boomy's Boombox. This was a bit of time travel that I didn't expect. It was fascinating. Next, we have one that I read not for 2023, but 2022's young adult list on SEASL, and that is Unscripted by Nicole Kronzer. I have read her most recent book as well, which I didn't enjoy as much, but this one was phenomenal. I dealt with some really hard hitting issues. Then next we have School Trip, which is book three in the New Kid series. I have the first two. I think all three are different formats, but this was the cheapest format for this one. And I really, really enjoy this series. Next, we have another one that I read as part of SCASL, and that is Fighting Words by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. This one is incredibly tough to read. Next, we have another one that I read really recently, and that is The Space Between Here and Now. Again, it's sort of slightly different actual probable alternative history that involves a little bit of time travel-ish. Next, we have another one that I read for the SESL list, and that is An Occasionally Happy Family. And I believe that the rest of them I read as ARCs, but I've had them on my wish list for a while. We have The Pearl Hunter by Maya Beck. Then we have The Fury of the Dragon Goddess. I still need to get the first book in this duology, but Book Outlet did not have the first book. So I'm working on actually purchasing and collecting all of the Rick Riordan imprints along with reading them. And then lastly, we have another one that I read as an arc, and that is The Sunbearer Trials by Adrian Thomas. So I think I have an arc for book two, but I can't remember. I've seen it somewhere. Now we get into the books that I have not read yet. And in that same book outlet order is only one book that I haven't read yet. And that is Cursed Carnival and Other Stories by Rick Riordan. This is one of the first uh, Rick Riordan Presents imprints books, but I hadn't read it yet or purchased it yet because it's a bunch of short stories, which doesn't tend to be my favorite, but I've determined I'm gonna read every book in that series. Next, I also decided that I wanted to try out some really popular manga series. And so I got the first volume of three different series. We have Witch Hat Atelier, Full Metal Alchemist, and Yuna of the Dawn. So I'm gonna give them a try at least. And I got them from Thrift Books, so they didn't cost too much. And then we have the nonfiction books. So I have them split into piles. One pile, and thankfully the larger pile, is ones that I can find audiobooks of. The other one I haven't been able to find audiobooks of, but I still am interested in reading them. So I think the oldest, one of the oldest on this list that I purchased is Dodging Extinction, Power, Food, Money, and the Future of Life on Earth. I used to put a lot of books on my TBR from different books that I had heard, um, interviews with authors and stuff on different NPR shows. I don't do that as much, but that's one of them that I'm still interested in. Then we have another one, which is Most Dangerous, Daniel Ellsberg and the Secret History of the Vietnam War. I've read another book by this author. It was a middle grade book on, not last year, but the year before uh, their SEASL list. And I am intrigued by this. And this is a uh, excellence in 
young adult nonfiction. Oh, I didn't realize this was uh, nonfiction uh, by the American Library Association. So this next one that I purchased, I put on my list after both watching Hotel Rwanda and reading the uh, Problem from Hell by a book by Samantha Powers at the beginning of this year. And that is Shake Hands with the Devil. This is the, I guess, memoir of Romeo Dallaire, who was the UN head of the UN peacekeepers during the genocide. And I learned a lot more about what he went through by reading that specific chapter and portion in the book by Samantha Powers. So I wish there were an audiobook version of it because it is a lot longer. I'm going to see if there might be and I might purchase it on Libro FM, but we shall see on this one. The next two I'm going to talk about together I found really interesting because a lot of these on thrift books that you purchase, they are ex-library copies and so a library for a variety of reasons will go through their collection and they will pick different books that they're going to get rid of or withdraw from their collection and sell as a way to raise money and usually these are older books or books that aren't getting a lot of traction. These next two that I have they're both uh, fairly recently published books and they have things in common. Both of these books were published in 2022 and I don't remember one of the libraries where one of them was uh, pulled from and I've, I've taken the library copy off. That's how I noticed this. The other one was Texas, but the one that I can't remember I know was somewhere in the South and those two books are The Trayvon Generation and his name is George Floyd. Both of these were published in 2022. There's literally one on the checkout sticker for this one time in 2023 that this was uh, checked out. Oh, this must be the one from Texas. This still has a little bit of library on there. This one was from Charlotte, North Carolina. I don't know necessarily why they pulled these, but these are recent books. They probably were fairly popular, especially this one. And I can only speculate because of the various things going around by different groups, you know, like Moms for Liberty, etc that it may have been pulled from various shelves in a way to hopefully avoid future prosecution or getting in trouble or things like that, which makes me kind of sad, but I am really intrigued to read both of these. Next we have two uh, memoirs. One is one that I saw on the graphic novel list on the Good Reach Choice Awards, obviously not last year because they got rid of that category and that is uh, Messy Roots, a graphic memoir of a Wuhanese American. And we have We Were Dreamers, an immigrant superhero origin story. I believe he played one of the title characters in a recent Marvel movie, recent as in the past couple years. So I'm definitely interested in memoirs for sure. And the rest of these are fairly older ones that I've just had on my list for a while. They don't really have anything to unite them as a theme. We have uh, the Middle of Everywhere, Helping Refugees Enter the American Community. I'm really fascinated by this one, especially because of what's happening recently. And this book was published back in 2002. So it'd be interesting to compare this book to how things are happening today. And then because I love coffee, <laughs> we have Uncommon Grounds, The History of Coffee and How It Transformed the World. We also have Pandora's Lunchbox, how processed food took over the American meal. And we have Rogues, True Stories of Grifters, Killers, Rebels, and Crooks by Patrick Ryden Keefe. This is, unlike some of his other books that I've read, this is a collection of stories. I think they were previously published in other areas, but then brought together in this section. I think that's a fairly reasonable haul for myself. And the fact that I'm not adding that many books to my own TBR. So the next thing you'll see before I close this out is a little bit of b-roll of me putting them on the shelves and actually finding spots for all of them. We'll see how successful I am in that and then it's going to cut back to me holding up all of these books that were previously put away <laughs> and closing out this video.
I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. Too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch a break? Oh, when life tries to test me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.